Hey boys and boys, it's Monday. Um, yep. So, how was your guys' break? I have a lovely, restful five days off of school. Did no homework. Slept on a pull-out mattress because my parents turned my room into storage. <laughs> Which I never thought was gonna happen in a million years, but it did. Um, our little question for this week, um, was just put on the comic wars like almost a day ago, and I thought it was really interesting. Um, our thoughts about detransitioning, um, and like the trans community and how like people would be affected by it. Um, hmm, that's a really good question because I thought about detransitioning, or in a way, I don't like. Whoa, whoa, just to make sure, the question does not ask. If you're going to detransition, no. I'm just saying my point on it because I thought about it. Um, I thought about detransitioning, and like it's kind of weird because if I did, I'd still be the same. I'll still hang out with like 98% trans guys. I just wouldn't get no. Nah, I would do it just when it like do like hormones and stuff. And what I really change? You think I'll just be the same as I am now? <laughs> detransition would just be like, oh, I'm gender queer because I don't really go within and sometimes I'll like maybe I'll cosplay and wear a kimono. That's that's probably one of the only reasons why. Or just to freak people out because for Halloween I like to dress up as a girl because it's really hilarious. And that fake boobs and everything. It's hilarious. But um yeah um just um it would be kind of hard if you were like if you were like auntie and all that good stuff and you like was just about to go through top surgery and then you decided to start detransitioning I think that would be kind of like a big like culture shock to like everyone because you're like oh I want to be this and I want to I want to be a dude or a chick and like I like pump myself with hormones for two years and I'm finally gonna get go through with something I really wanted since I was a small small child and I don't want it anymore that would just be weird like um like, this is why I'm semi-waiting. I don't want to wait. Like, I'm going on, like, this really big trip, and I hope I get to start tea before then, which would be really cool. But I don't want to wait that long because it's really awkward. But I do have, like, tendencies. It's like, do I really want top surgery? Because I'm kind of fine binding. But in a way, I still do. But it's just, like, contemplating. Contemplating! But, yeah, so that's what it is. Okay, um, God. Alex, I didn't check your video to see if you ad ask a question. Um, oh, oh, I remember. Yours was your favorite Harry Potter movie, I believe. Please tell me I'm right, because I believe I am. Um, my favorite Harry Potter movie, oh, God. What is my favorite movie? Oh, God, um... Hmm, that's really hard. I really liked the I really liked the Goblet of Fire because I liked all I liked Victor Crumb and that's when everyone had long hair. <laughs> and I thought that was pretty cool. Um, there was another one. Um, War of the Phoenix was okay. I don't really like it that much. But then I did like the Don't Call Me Ninfodora, which I thought was pretty cool. God, I can't choose. I say all of them are good. I'm sorry. Every single one. No, 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 man. Deathly House is my favorite one now. Because A, how they like um, computerized Dobby and Creature. Dobby looked like a cute little pet that just wanted to like hold and carry. And just be my little friend forever. Creature was just effed up as usual <laughs> but Deathly House is my favorite one and like every time when my friends see that movie when Dobby cries they're like <laughs> Dobby and then like they realize oh wait I'm crying over a um, um uncomputerized elf house elf which is pretty bad but that shows you how connected to the movie you are um yeah um Xander asked if we celebrated Thanksgiving what we did and how we feel about it um, I do celebrate Thanksgiving, not like the old big turkey thing. This was the first year I didn't have turkey. Or, we didn't have faux turkey, because my parents don't think I don't need to eat that stuff. But we had ham, 
those are fake ham and like four cheese macaroni and cheese. God, it was so good. Um, but yeah. Um, I don't really care much about the holiday. Like, we just do the same thing every year. We eat a whole bunch of food and we watch football. And I'm starting to like football more and more now, which is kind of creepy because before, when I was like 15, I hated football. And now I'm okay with it. I'm okay with college because college is cool. College is fun. Um, Kyle, dude, dude, yes, my bro is on this channel. My bro is on this channel, so I'm happy. So I'm happy. Now, now, he's my boys and boys bro, too. Which is pretty sweet. So, I welcome you to the channel. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay. And you didn't ask a question, mister, so you should ask a question next week. Well, this week. Um, Hayden asked, um, what is your favorite type of, like, art? supplies and stuff what's your favorite method of art to use mine i love using a camera i love i love photography but i don't have a photography camera like a really good one i usually just like ha the pictures that i have on my computer i use like paint.net to um do stuff with it which i think come up really well um and other than that i would probably use clay because I did make this really beautiful sculpture. It was so cool. And it's, it, was, it, was a it was my first tra it was like my first LGBT like related piece and it was a transgender person. Half male, half female. And it said the, and it had like the little transgender symbol on the back and it said we are one. And I thought that was really cool. But the we are one was painted really badly because I didn't have a small enough brush. You know, I was trying to go fast go slow at the same time and it didn't really work and it was off kilter and it was pissing me off. And there's no way I can ever make that color again because that took me three days to make that color. Yeah. Well, yeah, um, my question for this week is God. Um... 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 What do you want for Christmas? Cause I keep talking to my friends about like my Christmas list and stuff. And I told my parents that I wanted two things. I wanted two things for Christmas. One, a special Kingdom Hearts Snuggie that I only saw at FYE in my mall. And I have not found it anywhere else for a cheaper price than like $15, which was at FYE, which is, I, that's the only Snuggie I will ever want in my life. Okay. And the second one was, is an Xbox 360 that I would pay for half of it. And, like, a gift card so I could get games. <laughs> yeah, so that's what I want for Christmas. So, that, what do you want for Christmas? That's my, that's my question. Okay, I will see you guys next week. Okay, bye!